Here we go guys, the newest Super Fencer 3.0 No Dig version just got released out of the Mr. Fence Academy headquarters. Right, let's do a quick walk through this truck. It's not fully loaded with equipment yet, but this is how it will be built out from us to receive your equipment. This truck was specifically built with Milwaukee tools in mind. So we kept that in mind for the batteries, uh, where they hook up and things like that. I thought it was really cool inside. We made sure to put Milwaukee cups inside the cup holders. This is a Milwaukee branded truck. So, but again, the key ring has Mr. Finn's tools on it. We got a camera system inside that's got three cameras out the back. So there's a camera screen in the front. We have the headache box, classic Super Fencer headache box. We have the Easy Plum, has a home right here in the door so that you guys know exactly where to put it. Everyone's got a home, you've got your drawers. We recess these back where the majority of them are inside the box. Plenty of wall storage, and we have the expanded metal grid back there to keep the things from falling off the back of the shelf. The earlier versions, we had lost a lot of tools over the top of the shelf. Bottom box, again, full of drawers, ready to receive your hand tools, your pliers, your screwdrivers. We have a flat bar on the side of the truck. This receives your straps. They hook right up underneath here. Giant 24 inch deep, 24 inch tall boxes. This version of this truck has a four foot box and a five foot box on both sides. These are big enough to fit your Milwaukee Packouts or your DeWalt boxes. There's also lights in every box you can see. There's lighting system inside them. Trash box here. It's got lights in it as well. This is a 40 inches wide, 36 deep, 24 inch tall trash box. The protector, we found a nice home for it. There's a, 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 a holder for your full-size protector and your mini protector to where we know exactly where those are, right there. Very heavy duty drawer. This is the latch, so gravity holds it close. If we rely on the guys to latch it, we've noticed that some of the other fencers, they vibrate open. So just naturally by closing it, let go of the handle, it locks in place. Drop this drawer down. We have enough room in here for two rakes, two easy rakes, two post hole diggers, a thumper, a broom, and four shovels, and they're all labeled exactly where they go. With this super fencer, there's no little beaver here. We built this box to hold nine foot length post. We calculated it's probably gonna hold at least 80 posts if you wanted to. The goal is any broken bundles of posts get put in here and not on the bed. If you put steel posts on top of the bed, you gotta do a really good job of strapping them down. But if you leave the bundles, full bundles, put them on the bed, no problem. But when you break those bundles open, we find it hard for our guys to keep those strapped together nice and tight and safe. So this bin right here, with, uh, normally a bundle is about 37 posts. It'll hold that bundle all day long. We have a uh, three quarter inch horse mat on the bottom of that to kind of keep the vibrations down. And then we have a holder for the bars. So each ax bar has a home left and right as well as a home for two SpaceX. So SpaceX fits on both sides. This right here is our safety bar to lock in the bull compressor. So fully pull this bar all the way back here. We can use this to raise and lower the bull out of the, the truck. We added a uh, 5 8 round bar to the winch straps. That holds your winch straps in place from dangling. That's what this round bar is. These all slide. There's 10 of these on the truck and round bar on the side to prevent the straps from getting frayed. But push button hose reels, they'll be uh, aligned to the bull so you can run the bull right off of the truck and not have to take the, the compressor off. Truck's built for Milwaukee Packouts. So there's a spot for six pack outs on top of that. That's for your nuts and bolts, small fasteners. And then these boxes, again, have more lights, five foot wide. We have the uh, level holders, and labeled 48 inch, 24 inch levels. Your easy hooks for your belt. You can hold two ladders in here. 
This allows us to keep the ladders locked up inside the truck and not on top of the headache block. This bay right here has three quarter inch mat on it. Made to hold the, uh, the bull, Rhino, Titan, easy, or the US Hammer will fit on top. The drive cap that oftentimes gets left behind has a home right there. So that thing, we know where it is. Makita, got the power inverter and then uh, the 10 Makita battery holder right there. This is definitely the most thought out version we've put together so far. Uh, obviously you get better every time, right? So the, the amount of time and effort went into R&D on this truck to make sure everything works the way it does, it's a lot. Um, but we're in a position now where we should be able to replicate this faster and turn more of these trucks out identical like this right here for no dig version.